Rodney King, whose beating by Los Angeles police officers in 1991 led to riots, has died. Los Angeles police say the 47-year-old was found by his fiancée in a swimming pool in Rialto, California. They believe he drowned. A post-mortem examination is underway. Sky's Mark Stone reports. It was a beating which would have a profound impact first on a city and then on the whole of the United States. Rodney King had been stopped following a car chase through an L.A. suburb in March 1991. He was hit by four policemen more than 50 times and shot with stun guns. I'm glad I'm not dead, that's all. He suffered serious injury. The officers were charged but acquitted the following year. And this was the result. Los Angeles burnt for six days. Arson, looting and murder were widespread. 53 people died. Damage totaled one billion pounds. The man at the centre of it all appealed for it to stop. It's, it's, uh, it's just not right. It's just not right because those people are, are, will never go home to, to their families again. And, uh, I mean, please, we can, we can get along here. We, we all can get along. We just got to, just got to, you know, I mean, we're all stuck here for a while. Let's, you know, let's, let's, let's try to work it out. Let's try to beat it, you know, let's try and work it out. The riots did stop, but they forced America to look hard at its attitude to race and racism. Rodney King, though, has periodically struggled ever since. He was at times in trouble with the law and he battled alcoholism. But in 2010, it was revealed that he was to marry Cynthia Kelly, one of the jurors from the civil case he brought against the LAPD. It was she who found his body in a swimming pool at his home. Police say there's no suggestion of anything suspicious. This was one of his last interviews six weeks ago. Can I find me some uh, peace of mind? by being humble, you know. I know it's, uh, I'm in a bad situation, but let me think this out, you know what I mean? Let me give it some time and let me think how I'm gonna go about doing this. Can we all just get along? You know, and that's, um, that's how I would like to be remembered, you know, after I'm dead and gone. Mark Stone, Sky News.